Jen. You're on mute. You're on mute. Sorry. Uh, how's Ariel's back doing? And, and do we have the usual starters? Uh, the same starters from the other night. I mean, um, it's doing as well as can be expected. And uh, for you, you know, what's it like to see Christy Tolliver in the opposing lineup for the first time since I think 2016? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a little weird, but I mean, because I had coached her against her before she came here, I guess it's not, you know, like a totally foreign thing. Um, I have seen her a couple times in between all of this. Um, so see, you know, it won't be the first time seeing her, but it'll be different playing against her. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, it's, it's a whole new identity on both teams. So it's, it's, it probably won't, wouldn't have the same meaning as it would have a year ago. And, you know, looking at your side, it's probably unfair to expect Tosh to put up 11, eight and six again, but uh, you know, what sorts of, I don't know. <laughs> it might be, it might be fine. I don't know about the six, but. What are you looking for her to do tonight to follow up on that awesome performance the other night? Well, I think she just has to continue to, you know, uh, play like, you know, she knows how to play. I mean, it, first of all, you know, she, she sees her identity first in defending another team's really good player. And so that's where it starts for her. And then offensively, it starts with kind of pushing the tempo for us to get us in a good pace. Um, you know, if she does those two things, kind of the rest of it falls into place. You know, the pace dictates us getting better spacing, gets us one-on-one -on -one matchups. Uh, she knows the strengths of our team. She knows, you know, that she's got to get Tina the ball so many times. She's got to turn the corner on pick and rolls for herself so many times, uh, get Ariel and Maisha involved. Um, you know, so right now we're just kind of, it's not just her, it's just building as a group uh, kind of this, um, offensive identity that we need. And last question for me, looking at LA and uh, scouting report, I will not ask you what your game plan is, but does LA strike you as similar to any of the teams that you've played recently? And, and if not, what stands out? Well, the, the reality is probably this is the start of a different style of play right now. Uh, we've played all these teams early in the season with big, you know, powerful centers. You know, we've seen Griner, right. we've seen Fowles, we've seen Cambage and Asia Wilson. Uh, I know and John Will Jones, you know, we've seen all these big centers. Now we're playing teams that are built, built on quickness and three point shooting. And, you know, uh, this will be a good preparation uh, in some ways for Atlanta too. Uh, you know, we're not, we're seeing more conventional and especially with them without Neka Gumake, we're going to see a lot more four guard lineups from them. So, you know, that'll be different for us than we've seen the last few weeks. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Kareem. Hey, hey, Mike. You actually went right to what I was going to ask about. You know, you guys have been playing so many big teams. Now you're playing someone a little bit smaller. How big of an adjustment of that is, is that kind of basically like in a day's time where you guys had kind of gotten used to playing that certain type of team and now you got to switch real quick? Yeah, I mean, it's an adjustment. You know, it's... Uh, I, I mean, luckily we've had, you know, a day to kind of collect our thoughts and get our bodies rested up and go through a game plan. Um, you know, I think Minnesota a little bit helped us in the sense that other than, you know, fouls, the rest of their team is a little bit similar to what we're playing. Um, you know, a mobile post player in Collier um, who can shoot, you know, threes, much like, you know, Zowie B and Coffee for LA shoot threes. Uh, seeing Dangerfield and McBride and um, Clarendon and, and people like that who can penetrate and shoot the ball uh, will be a little bit more like what we're seeing tonight with Wheeler and, and uh, Taya Cooper and Christie. So, you know, it's, it prepared us a little bit, but it's, it's still a little bit of a jolt just because of the, of the pace of the game that they'll try to play at. Cool, cool. That's all I got. Thank you. Okay. I think that's it, Coach. Thank you. Right, thanks. You bet.